Hello and welcome to CRC Dust Beer, where I do some cool reviews of some cool beer. I love beer and I hope you do too. From the other side of the Pacific, we have Mikeller San Diego and the beer needed to know. A farmhouse sale or like a season uh, brewed with actual bread. In the mash, they actually put like rye bread, they put like sourdough bread, and like other kinds of loaves. They actually went to their local bakeries and bought bread and put in the mash. So I'm expecting some breadiness from uh, from this one. And so and they they flavored the beer with honey, ginger, and finished it off by with dry freeze dried strawberries. So they released one version of this called Need to Know. That was like the fresh version of this one. And this is Needed to Know, the barrel aged version. This one has been aged in Chardonnay barrels for 18 months. It's at 7.3% ABV. So the breadiness you see here, Sally is throwing a bread loaf at Henry. <laughs> I love the, I love these artworks. It's re really cool. And this is also a collaboration between so Mikel San Diego and Almanac Brewing Company or beer company. I haven't uh, heard of them before, but they're probably cool. So I'm having my Mikeller Bay Haven glass that I got from uh, some months uh, back some months ago from the Mikeller Beer Club. Just perfect for wild ales. So, let's do it. Let's give it a try. Me, hello, Sandiego. Hi, yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't we like this? Oh my, look at the color of this one. So, it's actually, it's very golden. The gold, it's bubbly, looks just delicious. Um, oh my god, it smells honey. Uh, it smells like meat, like the, this uh, this uh, alcohol beverage, alcoholic beverage that you made with the yeast and honey, water, yeast and honey, or just water and honey. <laughs> but yeah, it smells like meat. And it definitely a hint of that strawberries, like a sweet, almost like jam strawberry scent. And you get some orange notes in there as well. There's they, they have fermented it this with the Brettanomyces as well. Mm. Really honey and uh, strawberry dominant. It has like this uh, breakfast vibe to it. Breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. And it also reminds me of um, certain candy, uh, candy pastilles, Tic Tac, Tic Tac I think. The strawberry flavor they have, Tic Tac, Tic Tac, Tic Tic Tac, Tic Tac, but never mind. Uh, it's just like, ah, uh, strawberry fields. Mmm. Oh, and when you put it all like this, it's really gets there. There comes this ginger, like ginger jam thing or flavored some jam, strawberry jam with ginger, a light spicy note. Okay, I'm not the pro of uh, farmhouse sales and saisons, but well, let's see what it tastes like. Ah, uh, that's just lovely. It is very light. You know, it has acidic, but it's not like your whole face is squeezing, like when you're eating a lemon or lambic for that reason. Mm. Just a chill, refreshing sourness to it. There's definitely 
grapefruit, like really citrus fruit. Mm, that's just, and I don't like the bitterness or like the the zest of a grapefruit. And it's, it tastes sort of bread, bready as well. Or if you made like a um, pastry, pastry bread thing, and you add some lemon zest to it, that's also a thing. And it goes into the peach realm. Mm. Or like, I can't just say pinpoint peach. I would say, I would say stone fruit. Like, yeah, it's really good. The, the aging, I think, you know, sometimes when you age beer on, uh, on oak barrels, it gets, you really get that oakiness. But this is just light, a bit vinous. Mm. It's just light and refreshing, actually. I thought that this would be like a powerhouse of uh, flavors, but it's actually light and refreshing. Refreshing in a way, and and also at the same time, you know, this is like just when you drink uh, cola or Pepsi, Coca Cola or Pepsi or anything, you think like, oh, I'm so thirsty, I'm gonna drink cola, and then you're like, but it gets you more thirsty. And this one definitely, after a while, dries out. You know, I feel it in the back of my tongue, it gets drier. Mm. Mm. But it's, it's truly great. You know, I, 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 I am the kind of guy that like, oh, I need flavor bombs, but this is actually elegant complex and it has clear flavor notes here you have we added the strawberry and you can feel it like in the background but it doesn't take front and center and i think i think the honey in this beer makes it a whole less more or less tart like it rounds out balance out the sourness so, you know, I guess it's all about the balance, sort of. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so, so full in, in aroma. And then so fresh in flavor. Like, this is really, really good. Mm. This is actually, I've tried like, <laughs> Of course, I've tried wild ales before from other brews, but this is the first wild ale I'm trying from in Keller San Diego. I think, I don't remember if I drank, might have tried this at the Mikeller Bay Haven wild ale celebration 2020, because they said, they said in the video that they had this on tap, but mm, mm, really good, really dry. Combination, bread, with a piece of sour uh, strawberry jam with grapefruit zest and uh, some ginger. That's almost healthy. Antioxidants and uh, mm, gets you awake. awake. This in the summer mm, would kill it. It would, would be good anyway. But I like this a lot. Uh, most of the wild ale I drink right recent uh, have tried recently have been from Mikel Bayhaven and Dreifontainen. That's Lambic, but it's still in the wild ale family, or it's it's uh, wild a wild ale. You know, it, some beers don't have to be overly complex, but this one. Mm. So, but I ha but what I have tried from Mikel or San Diego before have been. Their IPAs. I have, um, let's see here. Is it? You know, I actually save some cans because I think it's fun. Here we got the Freddie Mercury. Lovely. And then they, I tried some sour beers, some Ghosts from Mikelo San Diego at Deep Pool C and uh, Deep Pool. They were in uh, the Mikelo. Uh, the great McKellar Christmas calendar, and I thought they were great. Like I have never been this 
for so far I have not been disappointed by Mikel or San Diego. But what's coming up in a video in the future is a stout from them. A mokashi. I think it was a mokashi or a, no, some kind of one of their stouts. I will try soon. But this one I got from the Mikeller uh, beer celebration virtual round number two. And I am so happy because I'm definitely going to buy some Mikeller uh, San Diego beer in the future. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. So I will give this, it's really good, it's really nice flavor. Got a butteriness to it as well. This game gets uh, 8.6 8 because I want to leave room for improvement. 8.6, really, really good. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs>